Welcome to Specific Love. We have a black lab and in the summertime she gets really hot. So anytime she gets a chance to lay on a nice cool surface, she spreads out and enjoys the lower temperature. She would rather lay on a hard surface than on a comfortable carpet. So I wanted to build her a dog hammock with one special feature, air conditioning. A quick measurement of her dog bed resulted in 32 inches by 40 inches. 32 plus 40 equals 72 inches, or 6 feet. This means I need two 6 foot boards to build the frame. So I picked up some 1x6's at the local hardware store. I measured 32 inches and used my square to create a straight line and then cut them both at the same time. To cut two or more boards at the same time it is a good idea to clamp them together first that way there is no movement. I then used my belt sander to sand away all of the burrs off of each end of the boards and cleaned up any rough edges. I then laid the wood on the floor to make sure it was the size I wanted and it looked great. I next grabbed some PVC pipe. This is 4 inch sewer and drainage pipe, not to be confused with scheduled 40. This is much thinner walled pipe. I also purchased 3 T connectors, 2 elbows, and a drain grate cover. I then placed all the pieces on the floor to find the best location. For the short boards, I measured in 9 inches on each side, and on the long boards, I measured 12 inches. The T connectors measured 4.5 inches, so I needed a 4.5 inch hole saw to cut the correct size circle. To keep the wood from moving while cutting, I clamped it to the table. I also placed a second disposable board underneath to help prevent splintering the main piece. I then positioned the wood in place and used a brad nailer to hold them together. Using some small corner braces, I securely connected everything together. It was now time to attach the PVC to the wood. The connectors fit tight enough into the wood that I did not need any glue. This will allow me to remove them in case of transport or storage. If I do need to secure them in the future, I can always use zip ties. To create the airflow needed, I decided to use some large 120mm computer fans. These can be purchased cheaply on Amazon if you're interested in this build. I secured a fan on the inside of each hole making sure to have the air direction coming into the box. For a power source, I strapped on an old computer power supply. After wiring everything up, I flipped the switch and nothing happened. I then realized I needed to add a jumper wire to mimic the motherboard switch. If done incorrectly, this could cause a fire, so be extremely careful. And now, the fans work great. For the hammock material, I wanted something that had a bunch of holes, so the air would flow freely. So I first tried some weed block lining material. It has a bunch of small holes, and at first it appeared to be strong enough. I then strapped a double layer over the frame and let her dog give it a try. Her reaction to the fans being turned on for the first time was amusing. The plastic material supported her just fine while she was laying on it, but it was not strong enough for her feet. So the next day I went to the fabric store and picked up some porous utility fabric. It reminded me of a thick window screen. This material was much stronger and after a quick staple our dog gave it a try. And it worked great. She could easily walk across it without concern of deforming. So I flipped the switch again and I loved her reaction. Now it is time to add the cool air conditioning and it is quite simple. Just remove the drain grate and add a frozen bottle of water. Now our dog can enjoy a nice cool breeze on those hot summer days. If you enjoyed this project, click the like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. And I hope you get a chance to have fun building.